Now, Jet 24's Mike Fenner with sports. Welcome on it. It's time for sports on this day. Three years ago, the Erie Otters officially made it halfway through the franchise's second OHL championship run by knocking out their most bitter rival in one of the crucial moments of the team's historic playoff championship run. After three straight 50-win seasons, head coach Chris Knobloch's Otters had most of the pieces in place to make a run at the J. Ross Robertson Cup from Alex Debrinkit, the return of Dylan Strome, both now Chicago Blackhawks, Taylor and Darren Radish, and several more pieces. It all just kind of came together, and I think, I mean, going into that season, you knew this was the last time you were going to have a run. You knew the guys that were leaving. You knew that uh, you weren't going to have another opportunity like this, and that all the chips would be pushed into the middle. Definitely, this team was destined to go and win a championship. General Manager Dave Brown's trade deadline deals to secure Warren Fogel and proven commodity Anthony Sorelli put Erie in an even more serious position to go all in. Remember Chris Knobloch was an assistant coach with Team Canada at the World Junior Championship. Um, so they saw what Sorelli did on an international level. They obviously knew what he could do at the OHL level, being a captain and a Memorial Cup champion with the Oshawa Generals. Sarnia was no match in round one of Erie's playoff run in 2017. The Otters outscored the Sting 29-12 to in a sweep, but a second round series with London loomed large with the Knights having ended Erie's season a year prior and the two teams having met in two previous playoff series in a row. You had players that knew each other. You had coaching staffs that knew each other. There was a lot of bite to this one. Um, personally, I think I think for a lot of these guys involved in this series. After splitting the series through six games, Erie did have the home ice for a deciding game seven to go to the OHL Western Conference Finals, but London had the hot goaltender. This entire series, it was Tyler Parsons' series. You look at the games that they've won, uh, including game six the, a couple days before in overtime. Otters outshot them 46 to 26 or 45 to 26. Um, you look at game one, the Otters dropped that one in a one goal game. Tyler Parsons again making 40 saves. But that was is what's going through I think a lot of people's minds and anyone that follows it, that you cannot go down early to this team and give that guy a lead and allow Tyler Parsons to do what he has done all series long, and that is really stand on his head and absolutely frustrate the Erie Otters. Even despite falling behind 3-1 to one after one period, the Otters wound up in a second consecutive overtime thriller and Fogel became an Otters folk hero with his overtime winner and fourth goal of what turned out to be a 26-point postseason run. You have Warren Fogel go to the penalty box. The game-tying goal is scored in the final seconds while the team is down a man and Fogel watches this all unfold from the the penalty box. So you have this story, in, you know, already in the back of your mind. That goal and the elation in the building, I think that blew the roof off. It was even louder uh, with a thousand people less than uh, were there for game five of the OHL championship series. Um, the call was something that I did have in mind. I was a I've always been a big Game of Thrones fan, so I had that ready to go uh, when, you, when you put that out there with, uh, and now your watch has ended. Uh, the nights were over, so it was, um, it, was, it, was, it was fun. Finally putting Erie on top of the Knights and sending the Otters to the Western Finals. As I look at it, that Game 7 is probably the most important game, one of the most important games in Otters history, probably the most important game of that playoff run. Um, against the London Knights, but you gotta go to uh, game four against Owen Sound. It's probably the other biggest game more right up there in, in Otters history. Erie beat Owen Sound in six games and hoisted the Robertson Cup trophy after handling Mississauga in five games as Sorelli tallied the overtime winner for a 4-3 final on May 12, 2017, representing the second league championship in franchise history, all after getting rid of the London kryptonite. The intensity of that series, I think, I mean, it was right up there uh, it, in the top playoff series that, that I've been able to be a part of. And I think for a lot of fans in the conversation for probably their, even outside the championships, one of their favorite memories.